Let's highlight some text in Photoshop. No, Photoshop doesn't have a highlight text feature, but it has plenty of tools to allow you to be very customizable in how you highlight your text. First off, I have some text out here. I'm sure you have some text in your document too that you want to highlight. To do that, the easiest way I think is to actually create a rectangle. So if I go to the rectangle tool and then I come up here to the fill and the stroke. Personally, for this, I don't want a stroke. You can customize this however you want, but I'm gonna click this slash icon, so no stroke on this rectangle. The fill, I'll take this bright yellow. I can also click on this color box here to change the color, adjust the hue, hit okay, and that's gonna be the fill. Now I can literally draw, if I wanted to highlight these two words here, I can draw my rectangle. It might be creating it from the center out. So you have some options here with the Option or Alt key if you're on Windows and then also the Shift key. Depending on what you need to press and hold, it's gonna create these rectangles a little bit differently. Uh, but it looks like I can create it from this corner over and I'm just gonna create a rectangle right here on top of my text. So that rectangle is on top of my text, right? I need it to be on the bottom or see-through, just like a highlighter might be. So I can do two things. The first, I can take this rectangle and I can actually drag it under my text. So that's gonna put the rectangle directly below my text. I can click on the Move tool, kind of see where that is. I can use my arrow keys with that rectangle selected. If I hold Shift, it'll bump it around a little bit more, and I can get that lined up exactly where I want it. I can also press Command or Control T, if you're on Windows again, and that's gonna allow me to transform this rectangle. So now I can transform the size of it and make it fit exactly how I want it to fit. One other customizable option here, in the Properties panel, while you have this rectangle selected, you actually have some corner options. So if I wanted to, I could have a 10 pixel uh, corner radius. So I could make rounded corners. A little hard to see, let me zoom in here. You see how this corner is now rounded? Now another thing you can do if I zoom back out is actually hover over the top of one of these corner icons. Make sure this is linked so these should all stay the same. And as you click and drag, you can actually see that corner radius moving in and out. And we can take it all the way in and make this a completely rounded edge if that's the style you're looking for. Now, I mentioned that we moved this rectangle, or I showed you we moved it underneath our text. The other thing we can do if you need it on top of your text for whatever reason, or if this effect works better because it blends into the background a little better, because this way that I'm about to show you kind of depends on the background color. But what we can do with this rectangle is make it kind of see-through, which is to go up to the blending options and select multiply on that rectangle. So now you can kind of see through uh, to this bottom element. Now, if your background color is not white, then the rectangle is probably going to change color a little bit. So dragging it below and not changing the blending mode will definitely retain the color of your rectangle. Using multiply will allow it to blend into the background and the text a little bit too. So either one of those uh, works pretty well. Now, one of the reasons I like to use rectangles or shapes is because if we double click on the thumbnail, we can quickly change the color very quickly and easily and actually preview it out here. So you wanted it to be more of a turquoisey teal color, then you can just select that blue or green, just like that, hit OK and change that uh, to match. So very easy to change the color of that shape just by double clicking that. Now, if you think this through, layers, any layer that's below your text could effectively be a highlight. So if we add a new layer, just by clicking the new layer button, and we use our brush tool right here, you can actually select any brush you want. I'll go ahead and turn the hardness back up. If you have a grungy brush or like a you know paintbrush stroke or something like that, you could use anything like that, or even images, as long as they're the layer below your text, you can use that brush and paint on there. I'm painting in white, so we're not gonna see that. I could select a color here, something like this bright green, and reduce my brush size and simply paint a highlight right here. Now it's gonna go with, you know, however my brush stroke is going. If you want it to be straight across, click and then hold shift, and it's gonna keep that in a very straight line right across there. 
looks pretty similar, but it's a brush stroke. So this is more customized if you want. If you did want it to be something zigzaggy and, and, and hand drawn, if you will, you know, I would turn that smoothness up a little bit. Uh, we might drop the brush size. You could do something like a little cross out here, you know, something like that, right? It kind of looks like a highlight that crosses through. Um, I'm just kind of showing you some options here. The other thing that you can do if we bring this guy back and just drag him straight across, it's a little harder to change the color of this, right? But if we go to this layer and we double click it, we actually have some other elements here, so this isn't gonna work, but we can go to color overlay and it's gonna change any of the pixels in that layer to this specific color. So this is how we could change the color really quickly, just like that. Now, why did it show up in this spot and in this spot? Because originally when I started to use that paintbrush, I was accidentally painting in white. So I actually put some pixels on this. I'll zoom in on this so you can see it. So those pixels were in there, and because those pixels are in there, that color overlay applies to any of the pixels. Even though we couldn't see the white on white brush stroke, it's still there. Make sure that you only have the brush stroke that you want in the spots that you want it on this layer and then that color overlay will apply no matter what color you choose. So that's kind of the same way to double click this rectangle and change that highlight color. You can do it with brush strokes as well just by adding a color overlay layer style and that's just by double clicking in this space out here to add that color overlay. Now because Photoshop doesn't have a highlight text feature, this kind of is custom. It's a very custom approach. So if you were to change your text, let's say I didn't want this first line, well guess what? We're going to have to go back to our highlight rectangles and move those around to find what we want highlighted again because it doesn't stay with the text. However, if you do, let's say you take your text box and all your highlights and you group them into a folder, this group will move around together. But if you edit your text, the highlight won't move with the text. So you can move that group around together uh, and you know scale things up and down very easily uh, by grouping the, the highlights with the text. But just wanted to show you that you know when you edit that, those highlights don't stay there. But it's a very custom approach. I mean, if you're working in Photoshop, you're probably doing a lot of different custom things. If you want an easier method to highlight, maybe use a more of a word processor program that has some of those highlight features. Anyway, that is how to highlight text here in Photoshop.